Here we go. Here we go. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Come on, let me in. Come on, let me in. Come on, Stephen, let me in. Oh, can you not let me in? Can I not speak to Stephen? He's not actually here at the minute. Well, he is. I've just seen him. I know, but he's actually just gone for a meeting. Oh, that's convenient, isn't it? Just like disappearing. So uh, I've just been to the market hall. It looks very nice down there. Like, I mean, I don't mean to speak over the uh, tannoy, but you know, this is only my, my only option sometimes. Uh, I've just been to the labour office and uh, Kimberly's just thrown me out saying there's some sort of like uh, restraining order for me and there isn't. So like, uh, I feel like I'm being like deprived from going to the labour office and now I'm here to come to the conservative office. I'm hoping you're not going to deprive me from coming in to speak to somebody in the conservative office as well because you know, this is really against my constitution. Anyway, on my way around from the market, I spoke to one of the contractors. I said, oh, are these nearly finished? He said, well, they're going to be here for five years. Hmm, five years. Now, I've been to all the meetings and they all really said 18 months. So where's this five year figure coming from? I don't know, because I don't know who you spoke to. Well, I spoke to somebody who probably wasn't supposed to say anything, but I told him he'd give me breaking news. And obviously it's online, as you can see, I've got a video camera in my hand, so like, I'm not lying about it. But five years, when they said 18 months, is that because uh, you're a bit behind or? Uh... I mean, we can look into something if you want. Obviously I don't like being filmed when I've not, I'm not giving you permission. I don't need permission in a public place. I'm not really filming you. Anything I can see with my eyes, even the back of your head, I'm allowed to film because that's public. That's the way the public works. You're, you're filming me. I didn't give you permission to put this camera, Panasonic camera, that you're filming me on. There's no sign, which is illegal, by the way. You've got to say that you're filming somebody or ring doorbells from now on. There's a CCTV sign. But, no, but there's no sign on this on this particular on this. There has to be a sign on this that says you are being recorded. Oh, more than happy to help you. Oh, what? Sorry. Winner. Well, as it is, I, I did come for a reason. I did want to speak to the Labour councillors for a reason. What it, what it is, is I put a sign. I've recently started a new business. And I put a sign on my private land uh, yesterday. And, and unfortunately, the council have uplifted it off my private land. And it's currently at AAA. That's criminal. It's against the law. Now, I'm not too sure on whether the council work for the councillors or the councillors work for the council. But either way, a criminal offence has occurred and the council... 388 are telling me to send an email in. You don't send an email in when somebody's got, done, committed a crime. Now, I'm sure the council aren't above the law. If I go into the council offices now and steal something from their offices, I'm sure I'll get done for theft. Right. It's the same thing. No, hang on. It's the same thing when the council come onto my private land, in this case, an unadopted road, which is private. Unadopted means it's paid for by the person who owns it, which is me, which means it's private. Right, currently going through the land registry, it's easy to check. So, but for whatever reason, the council decided to employ somebody else that's an aggravated crime to employ somebody else to go onto my private land and remove my private goods. That's right, criminal. Uh, now, I've got a crime number, I've got a crime number for the, for the police, obviously, because it's a crime. Right, yes, yeah, so you've got a crime number. I've got a crime number, but obviously, I'd like to speak to somebody either. Well, I wanted to speak to a Labour councillor, but obviously, I got kicked out of Kimberley. I mean, literally kicked out. She pushed the door into my face. That in itself is some form of assault on video. Thanks very much, Kimberley. You know, I mean, like, you can say that I'm not allowed to see you, but actually, I am. Because the only restraining order I've got is against Colin. You know, so. Take them. Yeah, take them. So, so, it's, so it's basically my, my, my car got uplifted from Hayes Lane Service Road, an unadopted road, unadopted without prejudice, according to LCC this morning when I spoke to them at length, which I can assure you they weren't happy about. I'm sure one of those is going to have a nervous breakdown one of these days. Anyway, basically it's unadopted. That means it's private. So when the council decided to send AAA onto a private road to remove my £5,000 artwork that said cars for sale and then put it at AAA. Obviously it's not MOT tax or insured because why would it be? It was law loaded there off a law loader so it didn't have to use the public transport the, the roads to get there. But even so the council thought they'd break the law and go onto private land, employ another company to do it. That's aggravated because they use special equipment. You know these criminal offences just rack up and rack up and rack up. Now 
by the council above the law? It's a simple enough question. I mean, you work for the council, or do the council work for you? I'm only going to leave it in your hands. Triple A have currently got it. Do you want the crime number? I don't Well, I'll send, I'll send Sarah the crime number anyway, and I'll post this online. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. You've done more than what Labour did for me. And they've got two councillors in Great Orwood, so they are pretty not good, are they? All right, thank you. Bye-bye.